Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm super excited you're here because today we're diving into something that can totally transform your home entertainment setup. If you've ever wanted to watch live TV through Kodi using IPTV, you're in the right place. Whether you're a cord cutter, a sports fan, or just want more channels, this guide is for you. Today, I'm walking you step-by-step -step through installing IPTV on Kodi using the PVR IPTV Simple Client, the most popular method out there. It's reliable, easy to set up, and works on almost any device that runs Kodi. So let's dive right in and get you streaming in no time. Step 1. Launch Kodi on your device. This could be your computer, smart TV, fire stick, or even a Raspberry Pi. If you don't have it yet, grab it from the official website and install it. Kodi is free and open source, so you don't have to worry about hidden costs or subscriptions. Once you're in, head over to the settings. That's the little gear icon on the top left. This is where you'll find all the options to customize Kodi to your liking. Now for step two, enable the PVR IPTV Simple Client. This add-in is what lets Kodi play IPTV streams, turning your device into a powerful live TV hub. Go to add-ons, then select install from repository. This is Kodi's official way to safely add new features. Scroll down to PVR Clients and look for PVR IPTV Simple Client. It's usually near the top of the list, but you can use the search function if you don't see it right away. Give it a click and hit install. Kodi will download and set up the add-in for you automatically. Wait a moment while it does its thing. Installation usually takes less than a minute, but it depends on your device and internet speed. All right, step three is configuring your IPTV playlist. After installing, click configure. This is where you'll connect Kodi to your IPTV service. Under the general tab, you'll see the option for M3U playlist URL. This is the heart of your IPTV setup. Here, you'll want to paste the M3U link you got from your IPTV provider. It usually looks something like HTTP slash example. Com slash playlist dot M3U. Make sure you copy it exactly as even a small typo can cause issues. If you have an EPG URL for your TV guide, drop that into the EPG section. It'll make finding shows a breeze. The EPG gives you a full program guide so you always know what's on. Once you're set, just hit OK to save your settings. Kodi will now start loading your channels and guide data. Step 4. Enable the add-on by clicking Enable if it's not already. This activates live TV features in Kodi. Kodi might ask you to restart go ahead and let it reboot. This refreshes everything and makes sure your new settings take effect. And now, the fun part. Step 5. You're almost there. Head back to the Kodi main menu and look for the TV section. This is where all your IPTV channels will appear. You should now see all your live TV channels and categories loaded from your IPTV playlist. Browse around and check out what's available. For some extra tweaks, you can set up EPG time shift for the correct time zone, so your TV guide matches your local time perfectly. Or use group management to organize your channels. You can create favorites, hide channels you don't watch, and make your guide super user-friendly. A couple of important tips before you go. Make sure you're using valid M3U and EPG links from a trusted IPTV provider. Free or random links from the internet can be unreliable or even unsafe. Always stream with a VPN to keep your activity private and to get around any annoying geoblocks. A VPN also helps protect your personal data from prying eyes. And remember, not all IPTV services are legal everywhere, so check your local laws and stay on the safe side. It's always better to be informed and avoid any trouble. That's it. You're now ready to watch live TV on Kodi. Enjoy exploring new channels, sports, movies, and more. All from the comfort of your home. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support helps me make more easy tutorials just like this one. Catch you in the next one. Until then, happy streaming.